First impressions matter, were taught that in school. I think they especially matter for figure lines, even more so when they cost a bloody mortgage to afford. SH Monster Arts is a line I've wanted to get into for so long, thanks to a certain jobby. So when I finally got my hands on my first ever Monster Arts figures, I didn't expect them to be this terrible. Welcome to my rant and review on the SH Monster Arts Godzilla and Kong from Godzilla vs. Kong. This won't be pretty. Let me start off with the good. The sculpt work on both figures are wonderful, and the paint on them, specifically Godzilla, is also great. Kong looks like he stepped straight out of the big screen. From the paint to the proportions, it's all perfect. Godzilla looks good too, though the proportions are way too skinny, almost resembling GXK Godzilla. It's kind of a big problem with the look. Ah, sorry. Staying positive. The dorsal plates look incredible. Brilliantly painted and really pop in a sea of black. Kong's face is also wonderfully sculpted and painted. Kong has a lot of accessories, unlike Godzilla. Stay positive. Tons of hands to recreate poses. And best of all, his axe. Well sculpted and the paint is alright. It gets the job done. Alright, that's all I can muster. Now it's time for me to go over why these figures suck. I'll spoil it now and say it's mainly due to QC issues. Hey, did you see that? Maybe I'm just imagining things. We're going to go over the articulation, and instead of doing a voiceover, I'll be doing it live so you can get my live reactions, and just to show how often they fall apart. Shall we begin? I'm gonna start with Godzilla here, because... He is surprisingly the least fragile one out of the two. Up at the head, ton of different ball joints and stuff. This lower one is pretty tight, doesn't really move that much. But uh, you, he, he can look around pretty well. Doesn't really look down that much until you start using torso. He does look up pretty well, but look how kind of gappy his mouth can't fully shut. Uh, I don't I don't know why. It's just always kind of hanging ajar. Of course, mouth can also open. Then we have the torso, which is actually pretty good. I really do like the torso. Crunching forward. It's pretty decent. Definitely the best that I've had compared to neck and higher. Tilt. Pretty well. The shoulders feel kind of limited. Like, I guess, I mean, I guess not really. Both double jointed. Over here. Let me fix it. Double joint looks pretty good. Ball joint wrist, so that's also really good. These do feel a lot more limited than I thought they would be, but can go up pretty high on my back and a bit out. This little crotch thing, whatever it is, is kind of oddly shaped, so it's always going to be a little weird sitting but just can't really do much about it knees are decent though gappy and they're kind of ball joints so they move around a bit and uh feet are also ball joints uh then there's the tail yeah i've heard a lot about uh the sh monster of tail um you know <laughs> I, I barely even moved it i i barely even touched it other than that Tail moves around a lot. It's all on ball joints and stuff. Though mine's also like really loose. Uh, seventy dollars I paid for this. By the way, this is brand new, straight out of the box. The problem with this is that it never feels like the tail is actually on. When you pop it on, it doesn't ever feel like it actually does it. And you, you use a lot of force. It doesn't really change, and you don't want to use too much, because then you're going to break the toy. And you don't want to do that. Anyway, here's Kong. Um, he's surprisingly even more fragile. <laughs> Head. Can move around really good, honestly. Can't really go down that much, just because of how much of a beard he has. Um, can look up pretty good, honestly. We're going to save the arms. The limbs, those are the funny ones. Torso, um, can, can move around pretty well. 
can crunch really well forward that's good uh up back decent amount a little gappy up there because of the how many kind of floating pieces there little odd can tilt and twist all that good stuff pretty good honestly pretty good um now uh, <laughs> i touched it and it just oh i'm off now uh let's try and get that back on but on, I don't even know. It's not gonna stay on anyway. Uh, shoulders don't really go out that far, honestly. Uh, goes forward pretty much, pretty well. Can do a full three sixty. Uh, bicep swivel, double jo So these are supposed to be double jointed. Top one is fucking tight, mate. That definitely pops in. I can hear it. And it's like, okay, move. Already off. Genius. $70. Uh, ball joint there. Pretty okay. And if you're wondering if that's just a thumb. Um, no. It, it's on both arms. It fucking sucks. Go up pretty far. I can even go even high, actually. Go back. Good. Split. Well. Thigh. Swivel a bit. And also the hip also swivels. Oh, Bending the knee. Uh, entire fucking thing just pops off. The entire thing. Okay, this one then. Look at that. I'm just a 90 though. All joints at the feet. It's pretty good. Look at that. That does really well. And there's a bit of a toe hinge, but it's also very, very loose. This is just for me, like, kind of moving the joints a bit. Not even that much. $70. $70 each, by the way. It's weird, because Bandai's other line, SH Figure Arts, is mostly solid. Yeah, my Toby, Spider-Man, and Heath Ledger Joker figures have kind of loose hips, but my god, at least they stay together. And sure, the regular Your Forger cannot really stand for itself, but actually I can't really excuse that. But so far, my recent figure arts purchase, the Near 2B figure arts, has been incredibly solid and fun. What the hell happened with Monster Arts? I feel like something's watching me. When I'm home alone. Such an old feeling. Alright, whatever. Oh my god! I actually can't take it anymore. These figures fucking suck. Oh, but you probably just got poor luck. But no fucking shit. Congratulations, you got me. Yes, I know a lot don't have my same issues, but I've also seen a good amount do have the same problems with not just these figures, but a lot of recent monster arts. These are premium products. I paid $70 for each of these, and they feel like bloody bootlegs. But I assure you, they are 100% official. They feel just as bad to handle as their god-awful bootleg Figma Lucina I reviewed. That is appalling! And if you saw that video, you would know I trashed that thing. And god, I wish I could trash these, but I can't. Because that's irresponsible. I want to sell these, but I'd feel horrible selling these pieces of utter rubbish to some poor unsuspecting bloke. So now I'm stuck with them. Fuck me, mate. What else do you want me to say? Monster Us is supposed to be the premium Godzilla figure line. And these feel just as bad to play with than a figure made of glass. I was so excited for these two figures, but holy fuck, why would I pay that much for figures that barely stay together? I have to keep them in one pose, and at that point I should just buy a statue. I hope other figures don't share the same problems, but all I've heard is the downward spiral that is Monster Arts' quality. It sucks too, because... These were my dream figures, and as of right now, the only way to get a half-decent minus-one Godzilla figure. But at that price, piss right off. Okay, as I'm writing this, they just revealed the evolved Godzilla from Godzilla X Kong, and it looks phenomenal. Maybe I'll give them another shot. Well, GVK Godzilla wasn't entirely accurate, 
This one absolutely is. Alright, they just dropped the pre-orders. Let's see it. Go fuck yourself, Bandai. Watch this figure. Surely paint like minus one. There's no wonder Hayao's kicking your ass. Their figure still looks great. Maybe not as good. But it also almost costs a third of the fucking price. Here's some size comparisons. I don't care anymore. They look kind of cool in this big Monsterverse display I have, consisting of figures from NECA, Playmates, SH Monster Arts, and Higher Toys. But I'll never play with these figures with the others. I don't want to touch these again, honestly. These figures broke me, truly. I wish I had a good Monsterverse Godzilla, because he's one of my favorite designs for the King of the Monsters. Hey, what happened to the lights? Oh. Oh, hello, you. I think this can work, actually. See you all next time.